This is a very quick overview of the images on Twitter. This is a parosteal osteosarcoma. It's a classic parosteal osteosarcoma. But the twist in this case is that there is a dedifferentiated component, i.e. a high-grade component capable of metastasis. Remember, a parosteal osteosarcoma is virtually incapable of metastasizing. Here's a plate film of the lesion. This is the distal end of the femur. You see a very calcified, ossified lesion on the posterior surface of the lesion. Also notice that the cortex is largely intact, implying that there's probably, there isn't invasion of the underlying bone. There's perhaps a soft tissue component, something that would be better captured on a CT scan or an MRI. Here's the corresponding gross image. This time you see the distal end of the femur, the articular surface of the distal end of the femur. And again, I'll point out to you that the cortex is intact, again, implying that the lesion does not infiltrate the cortex or the intramedullary area of the bone. Although I will admit that this can happen occasionally. So here's this lesion. It has that lit lit literally that stuck on appearance. The other thing I'll highlight for you is that the surface is shows a cartilaginous area. Now, you, s you don't always see this. And when you see it, it's never as prominent in this case. So the surface cartilage is particularly prominent in, in this particular case. He has a very low power view of the case, and you can see that the surface of the lesion is composed of this blue material, which is, which is cartilage. And the cartilage is actually fairly cellular, as you'll see in one of the subsequent slides. And you can just imagine a biopsy capturing this area of the lesion. You might be tempted, tempted to call this a surface chondrosarcoma. Beneath this is this heavily ossified lesion with thick seams of bone separated by relatively poorly cellular structure. Here's a high power view of that cellular cartilaginous cap and you can see this is indeed quite cellular and you can see again why you might go down the tubes calling this a chondrosarcoma and then beneath that cartilage um, as we saw in the previous slide there are thick seams of bone and relatively hypocellular material between these seams of bone. This is what a parosteal osteosarcoma looks like in the interior of the lesion, broad thick seams of bone surrounded by relatively hypocellular stroma. The nuclei on most of these seams of bone are dropped out because of over decalcification. And a question you're probably asking yourself is, where are the neoplastic cells? They're here, they're just very few, and they are hard to see. Here they are on higher magnification, I think, at this point. I hope I can convince you that there are neoplastic bones between the seams of bone. Here's one, here's another, here's a third, which is perhaps less convincing. And perhaps there are a couple here. Notice that they are smack against the bone. Also notice there is no osteoblastic rimming adjacent to the seams of bone, which would, which the presence of which would suggest that this is reactive bone instead. These seams of bone are surrounded by neoplastic cells supporting the diagnosis of a parosteal osteosarcoma. So at this point, you're probably asking yourself, this looks like a classic parosteal. Where's the dedifferentiated component? And here we come, dedifferentiated component. Again, this is the cortex. This is the medullary component. This is cortical bone. Here's the lesion on the surface of the bone. There's an overlying cartilaginous gap. Here are the thick seams of bone. Aha, but there's something interesting going on right here. And we'll take a closer look at this in a minute. There we go again. Thick seams of bone, overlying cartilage. And there for the disbelievers, 
is a very cellular bony destructive of uh, an area with very little bone um, that looks very highly cellular and here's a really high power view I do not believe that any of you will not accept this for a high-grade sarcoma so it's cellular very hyperchromatic nuclei very pleomorphic and there was a fair sprinkling of mitotic figures so this is the dedifferentiated component within what otherwise appears to be a classic parosteal osteosarcoma.